What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. Make sure y'all like this video and share it. I'm going to talk about Brittany Griner. Brittany Griner, uh, reportedly, now the reports are coming out that she has been detained in Russia due to, I believe, substance that they found in her bags. And apparently she has been detained for weeks. And we're just now finding out about this now. And what's interesting is that, you know, these Western countries are trying to shut down and cancel a lot of Russian media. So it probably would have been even harder to get any type of information, which is why I believe that these Western media outlets have had this have had this information probably for a while, but they just didn't report on it. I didn't think it was serious. Uh, Brittany Griner, I don't know if she's really spoken to anybody, but the fact that according to someone close to her, she's been there for weeks and we're just not finding out about this. Something is going on there. And uh, shutting down Russian media outlets is not going to help, okay? Because there's no telling how many Americans are over there. And now we're trying to cancel them and shut them down, not understanding that. I'm not saying that what's happening in Ukraine has anything to do with this, because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it can make the situation worse, because there are probably other WNBA players, and I, I spoke about it in my most recent video about you know, WNBA players, um, uh, the uh, New York Liberty is being fined 500000 and they're being threatened with the dissolvement of their team due to chartering flights. And I'll have a link to that video in the description box. Check that commentary out. The WNBA doesn't have the funds to pay their own players. How are you going to find one of the team's 500000 you know, even though you can barely pay your players a couple hundred thousand a year? to the point to where they have to go overseas to play basketball. So let's get into this article from New York Times. So the Russian Federal Customs Service said Saturday its officials had detained an American basketball player after finding vape cartridges that contain hashish, hashish oil in her luggage at the, at the airport near Moscow. The Customs Service said in a statement that the player had won two Olympic gold medals in the United States, but it did not release the player's name. The Russian news agency TS, TASS, citing a law enforcement source, identified the player as Brittany Griner, the seven-time NBA All-Star Center for the Phoenix Mercury. Griner, who's 31, won gold medals with the U.S. Women's National Basketball Team in 2021. In 2016, the custom service released a video of a traveler at the airport who appeared to be Griner wearing a mask and black sweatshirt going through security. The video showed an individual removing a package from the traveler's bag. According to the statement, a criminal case has been opened into a large scale transportation of drugs, which can carry a sentence up to 10 years behind bars in Russia. The basketball player was taken into custody while the investigation was ongoing, officials said. Uh, I, I just want to know, why are we finding out about this now? Like, seriously, how come we're finding out about this now? Is it because of the fact that, you know, America has been very out there with their sanctions and shutting down uh, Russian media outlets? They just shut down RT America. 300 people lost their jobs. You got a bunch of these companies and businesses pulling out of Russia, not understanding that they can play games too. I'm not saying that's what they're doing here, but they seem to be taking this extremely seriously. Okay. And Brittany Griner could end up serving time in prison over there. This could be a very locked up abroad type of situation. And we're finding out about this now. And I'm pretty sure, and I don't know how long Britney was supposed to be in Russia uh, for an extended period of time. But, you know, during that time, people say, well, she's just playing overseas. So if she's not really getting in contact with anybody here, it's because she's over there. But apparently, um, I saw a screenshot of where somebody said that, you know, she's been over there for weeks detained 
We don't know if she's been jailed, but she's been detained. Now, this could become a very serious situation because you have a you have the again, you have the United States who are on the forefront of trying to punish Russia, not understanding that you have Americans over there who may end up paying the price for you trying to suffocate them uh, financially. So this could become a very bad situation that she may end up having to be over there for quite some time. In a statement, the Mercury said, we are aware of and are closely monitoring the situation where Brittany Griner and Russia will remain in constant contact with her family, her representation, the WNBA, and the NBA. We love and support Brittany. And at this time, our main concern is her safety, physical, and mental health, and her safe return home. Well, hopefully, you know, for her and her family, that's what can happen. The WNBA, in a sending statement that Griner has the WNBA's full support and main priority is her swift and safe return to the United States. USA Basketball, which oversees the Olympic teams and the WNBA Players Union, also released statements expressing support for Griner. The detainment comes amid the escalating conflict created by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and high tensions between Russia and the United States in recent years. Russia has been detaining and sentencing American citizens on what the United States officials often say are trumped up charges. The arrest of a high profile American could have been seen as Russia's attempting to create leverage for a potential prisoner exchange with the American government or reduction in sanctions related to the invasion. Many WNBA players compete in Russia where salaries are more lucrative during the American League's offseason. Griner has played for the Russian team UMMC uh, for several years. Some American players began making plans to leave Russia following the country's invasion of Ukraine. A WNBA spokeswoman said on Saturday that all WNBA players besides Griner were out of Russia and in Ukraine. Well, this can become a very serious situation, but this is what happens when you try to play politics in the in the media, you know, social media. There are people that are going to get caught into this. I don't know if this was strategic by Russia, but the fact that she's been detained these weeks and American media hasn't cared not once because they haven't spoken about it. But now they're speaking about it because what a Russian outlet speaks on it. It could be leverage because these are the type of games that is being played right now. And I'm not saying it is right. What I'm saying is when you try to sanction a country, when you try to demonize a country, when you try to financially suffocate a country, they're going to respond in ways that you aren't going to like. And I'm not saying it is right. What I'm saying is she's been there for a couple of weeks detained and they've probably been either uh, working on the case or they've just been waiting to put the information out here because they've had other things they've been concerned about. But these are the type of things people have to understand that's going to happen. So hopefully for Brittany Griner's sake and her family, she's able to leave Russia and get back to the United States, the land of the free, or you would think so. So let me think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see y'all next one.